There are important people in their fields, and there are some fields of importance that when you're good in them, you affect the entire move. By move, I mean the social move of the country. I think uh, a lot of America and a lot about America has been and will continue to be told in music music created by true American folk artists, and probably one of the most highly acclaimed and highest regarded true American folk composers and performers is Mr. Bob Dylan, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Bobby. I'm all right. Are you plugged in? All right. Stands your orphan with his gun Crying like a fire in the sun From your street is drawing crazy patterns upon your sheet. The sky too is folding over you, and it's all over now, baby blue. Just walked out the door Has taken all his blankets from the floor The carpet too is moving under you And it's all over now, baby blue Bye. 
follow you The vagabond who's standing at your door Is standing in the clothes that you once wore Bob and I will be right back. How'd it feel? Fine. Did it feel good? It felt good. Yeah, you were grooving. What you doing with that? Oh, I'm just trying to get it down so it doesn't uh, fall in the way of my voice, you know. We had, uh, looking at that harmonica, we had, have you ever met Jesse Fuller? Sure. Jesse was on the show a couple of weeks ago. We didn't get a chance to talk much, but yeah. uh, next time he comes back, I want to, because he looks like an amazing gentleman. Mm. Talk about amazing gentleman. How old are you? 23. 23 years old. Yeah, I'll be 24 in May. Yeah. yeah. A lot's happened to you in just 23 years, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Are you happy about it? Oh, yeah. yeah. You ought to be, because you're successful at doing, I think, what you, what you yeah. want to do more than anything else. Yeah. I don't have much to think about. You don't have much to yeah. think about? I think you must be thinking about an awful lot of things to yeah. write the kind of things you do. Yeah. Just tell them, just for those... Oh, the microphone? All right. Tell them, uh, just for those out there in our audience that might not know all of the songs you've written, just name a few of the big ones. Oh. This is the composer of... Subterranean Homesick Blues. Oh, no, that ain't one of the big ones. No? No. Uh, let's see, one too many more. One it away? How's that? How about blowing in the wind? Yeah. We're blowing in the wind. Yeah. Do you folks maybe remember the night that Judy Collins guy kept saying, you got to sing this song, you got to sing this song. Judy Collins came out one night and sang the, the full original version of Hard Rain's Gonna Fall. Well, Bob yeah, wrote that. I wrote that. Yeah. Odetta? Odetta. Do you have you do you know who Odetta is? Put a light on Odetta. Put a light on that lady. How are you, darling? Let's talk about great artists. That's one of them. Well, yeah. you're gonna be on the show in a while, aren't you? Next month. Yeah, Odetta's all booked, and she's going to come out here and sing sometime. When did you first start picking and singing, Bob? Oh, oh, oh when I was about uh, 10, you know. 10? Yeah. 10, 11. Always with a guitar? Did you start out with a guitar, or did you start playing something else, or what? Uh, piano. Piano and guitar. Where are you from? Where were you born? Minnesota. Minnesota, yeah? yeah. Did you go to school there? Yeah. How far did you get through school? Oh, I got all the way. Did you? Yeah. High school? Yeah. Did you go to college at all? Not really, no. Then you kind of got on the road, huh? Well, when caught on the road, I, I got on, you know. Got on somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Whatever. When did you start writing original tunes? Well, I started writing, you know, a long time ago. You know how you write when uh, you write these insane things down? You know, uh, when you really don't know uh, what else to do? That's when I started writing. I started writing songs. That's a different story, you know. I started writing songs uh, after I heard Hank Williams. Hank Williams? Yep. Did he really inspire you? Yeah. Cold, Cold yeah. Heart and Jambalaya and things like yeah, that? Yeah, Cole Porter. Uh, whole thing. Cole Porter? Yeah. Now you're putting me on. No. no. You're not no. putting me on. Yeah, not. you are. No, I'm not. Yeah. Did you see Judy Collins sing hard right I now? did. I saw that. You watch the show from I was time in to time. Yeah, I do. Where do you see it mostly? I saw it last time I was in New York City. Yeah. I was here to make a, another record. I saw the show. I saw her sing it. Where were you when you watched the show? Do you remember the last time? Somebody's house, you know. I. They told me you were in a pool hall the last time you saw it. Oh, I did see the show from a pool hall. Your show goes into the pool halls. Yeah. It goes right in, and it stays on. Yeah. And, uh, not even the late movie can uh, can get it out. We're very big in the pool halls. Very big in the pool halls and around uh, 
And, uh, you know, south side bars. South right there, side there. bars, yeah. Big there. Down, uh, down the east end. Do you think that means anything? No. no. <laughs> Do you think we're going to make it with this show? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. I think so. I think he said, you know, I think so. If my, you know, whatever. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> God. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous, no. I'm uh, the carpet. Yeah. The carpet? The, the, the yellow, you know? Yeah. Uh, I've never seen, uh, it never affected me before when I saw the show that it was so yellow. Yeah. <laughs> The floor. I, I assume he's refer you're referring to the floor. Yeah. Would you get the painting crew in here? No. No? I mean, is it, is it good or no, bad? That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's, uh, I did see the show, and it doesn't really seem like it's so uh, tight. That's all. It seems like it is very big, you know? Everybody says that. Apparently, it yeah. looks bigger on television than it does here in the studio. But it's yeah. a pretty big studio. Yeah. <laughs> we have one of the largest in-studio audiences uh, of any television. What do you, what do you think audience, about Do you watch much television? Oh, I do once in a while, you know. What kind of shows do you like mostly? Uh, I like the movies. Yeah. Yeah. I like the movies. I see good movies on television. Yeah. Best place to see movies nowadays on television. Yeah. In fact. We'll be right back, Bob, Dylan, and I, in just about a minute from right now. Well, when you hear uh, other people do your stuff, do you would you do you enjoy listening to Peter, Paul, and Mary do one sure. of your things? Sure. Yeah. 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 I think that's a real compliment to have so many people recording your things. Besides, you get all that money, too. Yeah. What are you doing with all that money, by the way? Oh, buying boots, bananas, fruit, pears. Boots, bananas, yeah. fruit, yeah. pears. Bought some very fancy ashtrays the other day. Did you really? Yeah. Well, where do you keep all that stuff? I understand you don't have a uh, no. place well, I you keep call home. I you travel a, Yeah, mostly. I do, yeah. You well, strap it all on the motorcycle? Or no, I don't really ride my motorcycle that much. I have one, though. You do? Yeah. Thinking of getting a car, but a I don't car. know what kind to get. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking of a Maserati. You ever heard of one of those? Yeah. Well, I never saw one, but yeah. I like the name. Maserati. Yeah, Maserati. Because it's Italian? Bob Dylan and his Maserati. No, that's what. <laughs> Bob Dylan and his swinging Maserati. No, I don't want you in a Maserati. No? No, I don't. I... I have a, I, you know, I really got to, I shouldn't say this. because He wants me in one. Well, that's because he didn't get the same kind of a chilling thought I just got, which I probably shouldn't bring up. What? But I will anyway. Yeah. I think you represent to America and to American youth something very, very vital. And the last guy that had this kind of a, uh, an, an impact on the youth of this country was James Dean. Ah. Uh, and I don't want you riding around any okay, hot sports cars. Okay, I won't. Cars. I won't listen. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you know. It's Volkswagen time for you. Yeah, that's what I've been told. A hmm. detuned Volkswagen. What about one of those little three-wheel jobs? You know those little cars? Yeah, a little Messerschmitt, they yeah. call those. Yeah. Did I say that right? Yes, I did. We're still on, so apparently I did. <laughs> Listen, how does it feel, Bob, when you're 22 years old and you go out on the stage of the Lincoln Center oh. and there's... What, you were 22 then? 21? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. And there are thousands of people jamming that place, paying top dollar and according you one of the greatest ovations in our... What does it feel like when you're getting this kind of ovation at this kind of an age, when you have the kind of respect and adulation you have? That's a tough question, but, yeah. but answer it. Well... <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Les. <laughs> I can't answer that. Yes, you can. Oh, well... Uh, it, feels, it feels just uh, delicious, you know, wonderful. It feels marvelous. Splendid, swinging. Delicious, groovy, marvelous, fantastic. wonderful, splendid, groovy, and fantastic. Bobby Newworth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy all those things. What do you do okay. mostly? You travel a lot, don't you? I do, yeah. Give a lot of concerts? Uh, I do, yeah. Where most? Oh, really ranges, you know. Of, you know Every place from college, uh, Cedars to Fallville Halls. Yeah. Mm. What kind of crowds? Mostly young people or are the older people starting to get oh, your message? Oh, good crowds. Good crowds. I, I don't really, uh, I don't really know what, what, you know, young people or old people. 
But they're they're all right people, you know. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Most of your songs, I don't want to hang you up with corny questions, but it's true that most of your songs say something. Mm hmm There's a message in yeah. most everything you say. Mm hmm What is what is your main message? Eat. No. <laughs> I don't think that's it. I mean, that's a cute answer, but that's yeah. not the message. No, I, uh, my main message is, uh, you know, we want it one word. No. <laughs> one word. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Les. Yeah, Bob. One, one word message, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, be, you know. Be? Be. Be, period. Yeah. Is. You How know? about love? Love? Yeah. That's okay word, you know. That's all right, I guess. Right. It's been used a lot. Right. It's been used a lot. Yeah, but that's part of your message, isn't it? Love? Yeah. Well, yeah, but, you know, everybody says that. That I mean, doesn't I, make there anything wrong with it. No, any, you know, anybody can say it. Yeah. What about swing? Swing? That's a good message. Is that part of your message? Swing. Swing, love. Be. Uh, be, is, yeah. was, were. Double. Double. Double, double up. Yeah. Once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna sit there. I put on these duds for you tonight. You did? A tribute to you, and you're gonna oh, sit there and hey. put me on, right? No, I'm not putting you on. Everybody, everybody thinks that. <laughs> everybody thinks it's you're strange. putting. Yeah, it's just weird. Very weird. That's a nice tie, though. You like that tie? Yeah, I like the tie. You never wear ties. No. Once in a while, I do. I watch television in a tie. <laughs> hey, that's okay. I wear B. You gonna give me that tie? Swing. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Love. What about those boots, Les? <laughs> what size are yours? Eight and a half. You couldn't get it. It's the same boots. You know that? Yeah, I didn't see that. They, yeah. Uh -huh. Same boots. Yeah, you're a little shinier than mine now. Hey, Bob. <laughs> That's a nice harmonica. It is. back right after this brief message. We're back. Tommy Sands, Katrina Valente, Bob Dylan. Cy Coleman. I just said your name because I wanted to wake you up again. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> no, I, I kind of got the feeling that you were kind of no, you didn't have to tell her. Kind of on the nod. No, 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 I was thinking. Wait, that's the wrong phrase. I, I, I didn't mean that. I, um, I meant nodding deep, off. Deeply immersed in thought. Oh, is that what it was? Yes. Yeah. Well, Tom, mm. what brings you to New York, first of all? Well, I'm here to um, do some work for None But the Brave, which is a picture that I was in. Mm -hmm. Who else is in the picture? When I say work, I mean I'm going to go to uh, 23 theaters next weekend. It's not really work. It's not work? No, no, I mean publicity, you know. I'm going to appear at the theaters and perform and uh, a in lot conjunction of... with the opening of the film. Yeah, but a lot of people say that uh, making personal appearances and things are harder work than making the films. Doing the... No, no. <laughs> I'm not married. <clears throat> you say that as though you don't approve. Oh, I approve. You just haven't found I the approve. lady yet, is that oh, right? Oh, that's not true either. I just... Uh... I just am not married, you know. <laughs> That's all. What are you breaking up about over there? <laughs> You're really cracking up. I'm enjoying myself. Good, I'm delighted. <laughs> Where were you born? In Paris, France. Yeah? You... But I'm Italian. I was just thinking that all three of our guests are connected through the world of music, but such a different kind of music for each. American folk music and international. 
What did you do when I looked over Nothing, there? Nothing, Les. <laughs> I didn't do anything. You are really cracking nah, up this nah, audience? No, nah. I'm not, really. Yes, you know why you he's are. cracking up this audience? Why? I was sitting back there watching. Of course, I say, you know why he's cracking up this audience. I can't speak for this audience, but I, I think I recognize talent. I think that as big and as, as successful as Bob Dylan is as a, as a singer and writer of folk songs, I think that he has a tremendous future as an actor. Because... An actor? In fact, you know, I don't know. I was never familiar with Bob Dylan. I, I, I had seen record albums and I had heard songs and everything, but I was never f familiar with, with uh, the man and, and uh, I'd never seen him. And after watching him, I'm sure that other producers right now, it's wild because, you know, tonight somebody might see him and, and offer him the thing he wants, not that he would take anything, but he does remind me of Jimmy Dean and, and he's very funny. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you like that, Bobby? <laughs> Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Have you ever given any thought to acting? You think you might enjoy acting? Well, I'm trying to make a movie this summer, which uh, Alan Ginsberg is writing. I'm rewriting. Alan Ginsberg, yeah. the poet? Yeah. He's he was on this program, you yeah, know, yeah. extolling the virtues of marijuana one night. Really? <laughs> Alan? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a lie to me. That's really... You think I'm lying? No, I didn't mean that. Alan Ginsberg was sitting in that chair where Katrina Valente is sitting right now, and he said that he thought that uh, we ought to legalize pot. He said that? Right on the television. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Yeah. <clears throat> Alan is a little funny sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Alan's funny, funny sometimes, yeah. huh? Yes. What kind of, what is this movie going to be about? Oh, it's a, sort of a horror cowboy movie. Yeah. <laughs> takes place on the New York Thruway. A horror cowboy movie yeah. that takes place on, I don't think that's exactly what Tommy Sands had in mind. No, it, uh, that's kind of the movie it's going to be, though, you know. It's going to be one of those underground pictures, right? No, no, it's going to be all straight on the up and up. Yeah? You're going to star in it? Yeah, yeah, I'm the hero. You're the hero? <laughs> you play the horrible cowboy. I play it? my mother. <laughs> you play your mother <clears throat> in the movie? In the movie. You've got to see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite the put-on artist, no. isn't he? God. You're terrible. No, I don't want to be categorized. Hey, can I ask you a question? Can I ask, may I ask you a sure. question, Bob? Sure. Uh, when I was very young, I was a, uh, you know, a collector of folk songs, and, and I'm not too, I'm not really up on folk music today, unfortunately, but uh, I was also a fan of, of some of the, uh, you know, the country and western oh, yeah. artists. Yeah. And, and the first time, if I, I think the only time that I've ever heard Joan is it Baez or... Joan Baez. Joan Baez. Who will be here, by the way, on March the 1st. Well, the only time I ever mm. heard her sing uh, was on an album, and she reminded me so much of, of a very great country and western singer named Kitty Wells, mm -hmm. who is the number one female artist. And so many of the, uh, the contemporary folk artists uh, do the same thing that, that the country and western singers do and yet they see they seem to have a wider appeal why is that i don't know is it because uh, they dress <laughs> no no uh i'll tell you I'll, can uh, i tell you why i think i think the the only difference in a, appeal wise is that the country artists haven't had the kind of exposure lately that the uh, the folk artists is well but they uh, travel in different circles they travel different circuits they pretty much stick to the southwest they, and people think that the Grand Ole Opry is something for, you know, hayseeds. And it's not. It's fine music. And we've proved it on this program. We have had some of the highest ratings we've had after a while with people like Johnny Cash on this show. Yeah. And Lefty Frizzell and, uh, you know, Flat and Scruggs and people of that stature. Yeah. I got a marvelous telegram the other day, by the way, from uh, Marty Robbins, who's one of, you know, have you ever heard of Marty I'm, Robbins? I know him, yeah. I, I mean, I know his work. I know what he do you, does. Do you like Marty oh, yeah, Robbins? Yeah. I, do you know who Marty Robbins sure. is? Kind of, have you ever heard Marty Robbins sing? No. Well, he's just magnificent. He sings with, uh, he has 
got the quality that is most important to me in singing, and that's soul. And he's got so much soul, so much heart. And he's, you must have heard the recording of El Paso. <clears throat> no, I don't have it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Oh, that's beautiful. No, I've never heard it. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina. Oh, Music would play and <laughs> I didn't bring my guitar. <laughs> Hey, it's been, a, it's been kind of wild just sitting here relaxing with you folks tonight. You know that? You're such a lovely lady. you got to come you. back and do this with us more often. I'd love to. And we've got to bust Tommy loose because he and Nancy have a theater day, and Bob Dylan's going to sing another song. Ah. So uh, are we all tuned up? You want, why don't you get your harmonica adjusted this time yeah. so you know? Is it okay? Cool? You ready? Okay, this is called It's All... Uh, it's all right, Ma. It's all right, Ma. It's life and life only. It's all right, Ma. It's life and life only. Bob Dylan, everybody. Darkness at the break of noon, shadows even the silver spoon, the handmade blade, the child's balloon, eclipses both the sun and moon, to understand you knew too soon, there is no sense in trying. Pointed threats, they bluff with scorn. Suicide remarks are torn from the fool's gold mouthpiece. The hollow horn plays wasted words, proves to warn that he not busy being born is busy dying. Temptation's page flies out the door. You follow, find yourself at war. Watch waterfalls of pity roar. You feel the moan, but unlike before, you discover that you'd just be one more person crying. So don't fear if you hear a foreign sound to your ear. It's all right, Ma. I'm only sighing As some worn victory, some downfall Private reasons, great or small Can be seen in the eyes of those that call To make all that should be killed to crawl While others say don't hate nothing at all Except hatred Disillusioned words like bullets bark As human gods aim for their mark Make everything from toy guns that spark To flesh-colored Christ that glow in the dark It's easy to see without looking too far That not much is really sacred Preachers preach of evil fates Teachers teach that knowledge waits Can lead to hundred dollar plates Goodness hides behind its gates But even the president of the United States Sometimes must have to stand naked No, the rules of the road have been lodged It's only people's games you got to dodge and it's all right, Ma, I can make it. Advertising signs, they con you into thinking you're the one that can do what's never been done, that can win what's never been won. Meantime, life outside goes on all around you. yourself you reappear you suddenly find you got nothing to fear alone you stand with nobody near when a trembling distant voice unclear startles your sleeping ears to hear that somebody thinks they really found you Equal 
question in your eyes is lit Yet you know there is no answer fit To satisfy and show you not to quit To keep it in your mind and not forget That it is not he or she or them or it That you belong to Though the masters make the rules For the wise men and the fools I got nothing more to live up to For them that must bow down to authority That they do not respect in any degree Who despise their jobs, their destiny Speak jealously of them that are free Cultivate what they get to be Nothing more than something they invest in Some on principles baptized To strict party platform ties Social clubs and drag disguise Outsiders they freely criticize Tell nothing except you to idolize And say God bless him One who sings with his tongue on fire Gargles in the red race choir Bent out of shape from society's pliers Cares not to come up any higher But rather get you down in a hole that he's in But I mean no harm Nor put fault On anyone That lives in a vault But it's all right, Ma, if I can't please him. Old lady judges watch people in pairs. Limited in sex, they dare to tell fake morals, insult and stare. While money doesn't talk, it swears. Obscenity, who really cares? Propaganda, all is phony. While them that defend what they cannot see With a killer's pride, security It blows their minds most bitterly For them that think death's honesty Won't fall upon them naturally Life sometimes must get lonely My eyes collide head on with stuff Graveyards, false goals I scuff That pettiness which plays so rough Walk upside down inside handcuffs Kick my legs to crash it off Say, okay, I've had enough What else can you show me? And if my thought dreams could be seen They'd probably put my head in a guillotine But it's all right, Ma It's life and life only Bob Dylan, everybody Will you come back sometime? Good, good Thank you Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bob Dylan. Okay, Bobby. Did you listen to the words of, the, of that? Did you hear the thoughts coming out of that 23-year-old mind? That is really exciting. Really is fantastic. Okay, we'll be right back following this message.